Well, the St. Joseph School District confronts an enormous financial and political challenge. News Press Now's Marcus Clem is in the studio and brings us this story about how a vision for two new high schools might come about. Marcus? Back in 2021, when the last two high school plan was proposed, it was rejected by nearly 65% of the electorate. Backlash, particularly in the South Side, was intense. Conversations about the future of K-12 buildings in St. Joseph come around seemingly as often as the rain. But according to the SJSD Long Range Plan, voters will be asked before the end of next year to approve a bond issue that would pay for the construction of a new high school and start us on the path to being a two high school town. Benton High School serves a serves a, a broad community. It serves our community very, very well. So this location, a location of a school in southern in southern St. Joseph is just very, very important to, to this climate around here. The plans promise that the new campus will be built somewhere in the south end of St. Joseph leaves local business owner J.L. Robertson convinced that it is sound in concept and an overdue upgrade for our students. All schools are in neighborhoods. You take care of the North St. Joseph uh, neighborhoods and you take care of the South St. Joseph neighborhoods. And that would that would appease uh, that would appease, I believe, uh, our uh, our community, so to speak. As told by Lafayette teacher Jeff Leak, once again, St. Joseph is at risk of allowing the entire conversation about education in our town to be consumed by buildings and not student welfare. There is a portion of the community that wants to go to one big school or two schools and thinks that that's the, the magic diet pill that's going to fix all our problems. But after they're done posing for pictures and bragging about it and, and showing it off to a few people, you know, we got to worry about the kids that go to the school each day. Janice Edmondson, who I spoke to at Hyde Park, expects to see in her time four generations of her family go through Lafayette High School, inspiring timeless memories. But she is ready to turn the page on the current buildings. The pride in east side, north side, south side, I guess. Being born and raised here, that's kind of how we grew up. So, but again, like I said, we definitely need new schools, so I'm all for that too. The long-range plan will be found online at newspressnow.com. Marcus Clem, News Press Now.